what's going on guys what's everybody up to today it's sunday i just come back from a camping trip with my family and uh get ready to hit the road tomorrow we've got a load uh picking up in indiana and it's going to anthony texas which is out near el paso a couple guys on dirt bikes coming down the road here <laughs> so yeah we're uh, headed out toward uh el paso uh, my company's doing a thing where you deliver 10 loads in april if you're one of 100 that signed up you deliver 10 loads in april they'll give you a 1200 dollars bonus and you can be entered to win five thousand dollars i'm gonna call tomorrow i'm not sure if i want to even try to do that i got some things going on this month uh, i'd have to give up my texas load obviously because that that's that the whole week but uh you know these loads are assigned to you it's not like you say hey you know give me 10 loads over to new york these are loads that they assign to you to make sure you can meet that 10 but i don't know where they're going i don't know what they consist of and you know are the pickup fees waived if the pickup fees aren't waived for me to do 10 loads in the month of april that's eight hundred dollars that's forty dollars a trailer that's 20 trailers do 10 loads for me so that's 800 bucks uh i'm not sure you know at least a bonus of 400 dollars after the, all the pickup fees okay maybe a little more because i'm going to do some loads anyway but the big the thing about it is, is if you complete that then you get registered to win five thousand dollars so that's what's kind of enticing me is, you know, out of the hundred, five people are going to win $5,000. So I'm going to call and see, are they waiving the pickup fees on these or all that? Or is it just normal? And So I'm not sure if I'm going to even try to partake in that. So if not, uh, we'll be going to Texas. But I'm going to inquire about it tomorrow. So, uh, yeah, that's what we got going on right now. Like I said, we just came back from camping. Uh, going to go back to the house here and... Uh, Get the international ready, get it on the road, and head out in the morning. So I guess at the start of this video, you are uh, wondering, well, that's not your international you were starting up. No, no, it wasn't. Uh, so as you know, with the international, it is back on the road, it is running. But like I said, I basically put a Band-Aid on a bullet wound. Uh, it's got some issues uh, I, I'm, what I'm going to try to do with the international is I'd like to find me a school bus that uh, is an international school bus with a hydraulic brake system and all that so I need some parts off of it basically but for now like I said we put a band-aid on a bullet wound uh, so until we get that stuff straightened out uh, you know I bought the Ford which is over here. Bought the Ford to be my, well, well, something I needed to work at the time, as I said before. Uh, and I, then, I, then it was gonna be the backup to the International. Well, here where I live, I was scrolling Facebook one day and I found a truck. And I was like, man, I need that truck. I need that truck. So what I do, I bought that truck. So it's a 2017 Kenworth T170, 19 and a half inch tires, sleeper. It was a uh, was a day cap truck for a furniture store. A guy here local bought it, put the uh, sleeper on it, the headache rack, uh, added, it's got two 40 gallon saddle tanks on this side. Uh, it came with, came with the factory one, he added the second one. So, so we bought that. And then I'll show you inside a little more and everything. Hydraulic brakes, 
Allison six speed transmission. It's got the uh, six seven Cummings in it. It's a pack car seven, six seven Cummings. So runs like a champ. Uh, yeah, it, it, it does good. Uh, fully cleaned out, if you know what I mean. So with a 40 horse tune, tow tune on it. So man, it, run, it runs good, runs like a champ. Yeah, uh, it's also got the headache rack, lights all work. It's got a backup camera. Well, so we bought the truck and then we found this. It's a 53 foot ship she gooseneck trailer. Two 10,000 pound axles underneath it. So the uh, GBWR on it's 20,000. Uh, truck and trailer together, full fuel and everything. I was about 19,000 pounds. So I am gonna run IFTA on it. That way I can, you know, put a couple vans, three cars, whatever up on here. It's a 46 and a half foot of deck space. So we can do two campers, sometimes three, depending on how long they are. So uh, that's where we're at on that. Uh, it's a 2016 ship she like i said it's gooseneck we've got a 24,000 pound kirk fifth wheel here and uh you know the reason i said i needed this truck and you guys were like why didn't you just get a semi i do have my class a cdl but i also have the air air brake restriction i regret doing it that way over and over and over so it's obviously now you have to go to a school but back then you could just study and go do it yourself and that's what i did it was fast it was i spent 90 bucks to get my cdl but i don't have the air brake and as i've transitioned into this from doing single pulls into the holland tow i wish i didn't have that air brake restriction so so this truck let me uh we'll flip you around here I do need to clean it up still. See, push button. We've got our electric uh, brakes. 237,694 miles. Uh, it needs an ABS sensor. That's why the ABS lights on. We can get that taken care of. Uh, the guy that had it uh, put in the uh, power meter which does your exhaust temperature and you also put in a boost gauge so as a seed heat obviously uh, engine brake is mean has screws your lights this works the light on the headache rack this works the fog lights are on the front uh, this little boss elite system is pretty neat and it's powered in there somehow but I hook my phone to it my map comes up on here uh my Sirius and everything plays through there backup camera that i told you was back there you know i can keep an eye on the whole thing so that's all real neat uh, this seat he did change it out put in a legacy seat the truck was not air ride originally but he does have a compressor that's hooked up to this. So it makes that C air ride. Uh, it's basically just a coffin sleeper back here. Which is fine. Does have lights. It's got doors on both ends. Uh, but I mean, it's plenty of room, plenty of room to sleep. That rolls down to where you can do it. Uh, it does have a uh, heat and air underneath it, but it's not hooked up. So that's something I'll have to work on too. Uh, right now I'm just working on getting everything squared away on this truck to get it on the road. So, you know, what I <laughs> paid for this truck, can't argue with it. Uh, that's the seat that used to be over here. He put it on that side. 
and it's air he's got it hooked up as air ride too so if anybody ever goes with me but uh it's been sitting over here all week so i wanted to come over and start it i actually picked it up last week yeah like i said storage underneath the bed bed up there there's the heat and air unit that I haven't hooked up yet. Take this with me. And also, like I said, the truck didn't come with air ride. Did put airbags on it in the back. Got it hooked to a compressor here with a dump valve so you can dump it when you're hooking trailers. I don't know, man. I'm, I put brand new tires on the uh, trailer. So, yeah, that's it. That's going to be the new ride and the new setup. Okay. We got all of that done. We're going to head back over to the house. But I just want to talk to you. I am, I still believe. That Holland Ho is the best division in this industry for doing RVs. Hands down, you're not always towing a trailer. You are, uh, you know, you can get a car to pay for your fuel, and you know you can make the money of two campers get in and out of places easy for your pickups and all that so with that being said you're asking yourself why are you going to a truck and trailer well I'm the type of person that always plans long term that always looks at the trends and things yeah, how's the future going to go so I 100% believe that RV sales and RV delivery is going to fall off. It will never sustain what it is now, and it'll go below what it was before. Because there were times before when you know you call in on Monday and didn't have any loads, so you'd, I'd move some cars. Maybe Wednesday I'd get a load and then I'd take it out. So with that being said, and what I feel is going to happen with this truck. I'm still going to be able to haul multiple campers, sometimes even three. Had a little bit more of a rate if you watch Bandy Transport. You know, I think it's three, 321 for three campers. There are some smaller campers that I'll be able to do that I will run can run at that rate. But for the most part, it'll be two campers at the same rate as my hauling tow. But I'm always going to be toting that, that trailer. And it's going to be harder to get in and out of these places. But I'm one, I do backhauls. You know, so, you know, if I, if I run, start running out west, something like I want to do, then, you know, bringing those backhauls back is where I'm going to make some money. But my primary reasoning, there, there's two reasons why I got this truck to One, I really love the truck and I got a really good deal on it, like a phenomenal deal. And I got a decent deal on the trailer. But two, when RV sales fall off, I can jump straight into moving cars. But you're at, okay, so you're saying, well, if you're saying that RV sales are gonna fall off, what makes you think people are gonna buy cars? New cars? No. That's where the incline in used cars are gonna come, auction cars things of that nature is where it's going to stay up and with that happening you know, I'm, I'm i'm when when car when rv sales falls off i'm going to go move in car cars okay well with this trailer it's 46 and a half foot of deck space you know what worst case scenario if i have to if i have to move over and start hauling freight again i can do that with that trailer because of the deck space so I'm always, 
I'm, I'm the type of person I'm always looking for opportunities to, you know, make sure I'm covered. But I'm going to keep the hauling tow. So, I mean, if, hey, if RV sales keep booming, I can always run the hauling tow. I mean, you know, it's, it's the same amount of money. One of them's going to sit. Because the hauling tow, I plan on the international being my backup to that truck and trailer when I'm running it. So worst case scenario, if the RC, RVs are still booming and while they're still booming, 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 I can just run it. You know, so that's my, I'm leaving myself options. And, you know, this Ford, like I said, I bought it mainly to be our truck to pull our camper. And my wife's actually out here right now clearing everything out of the camper when we just got back from camping. So I'm going to help her. But yeah, I just wanted to jump on here and, uh, show you the new setup and still waiting on the title and then i'm probably going to do I, I had my own if that rp account before so i had my own apportion plates i can get them through horizon i may check with them and see how long it takes to get them with them but i may just go ahead and do it myself and j just have my own like i did before you know I, it's it's six one half a dozen the other there's no big deal with it so We'll jump off here and uh, help her get this car cleaned out. I just wanted to show you guys the new uh, truck and trailer we had and, you know, plans for the future. See you guys.